Yo, it's Elliot at Pharaoh's Life Farm. So it is October 27th, Wednesday, big week. So that means winter's coming. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys, I get a lot of people asking me about vehicle maintenance and what to do in preparation for the winter. So I'm gonna show you some stuff right here. Um, one of the things I like to do, because I'm in Iowa, it's the Rust Belt, I like to spray some of this corrosion stop protectant on some integral parts uh, on the underside of your vehicle. So come with me here, I'll show you. First thing you want to do, I'm going to jack up the rear end here. I like to use my little towel because I got bad knees. That's, you know, that's how it goes. Make sure you get right underneath the pumpkin. Back to fill. Jack this bad boy up. And you want to jack it up just enough so that when it falls in, you, it kills you. You don't want to be maimed or you know, near death, hospital visits are a pain, and they're actually quite a burden on your family. So make sure you get up there just enough to where you're in terminal territory. This is, that's terminal right there. I'm pretty fat, so let's go a few more. Perfect, just like that. Now the other trick, I like to use these AC Delco um, jack stands right here. These are the kind that have the recall. So once again, this is the quickest way to get rid of your problems, right here. Boom, you're dead. So, slide in underneath there. Hop on your old creeper. You guys can come with me. We're gonna, we're gonna learn something today. All right, so. Oh yeah, I have plenty of stuff. Yep, good enough for government work. So, grab a PB blaster, and I'm gonna go after some specific spots. Here, let me see a camera. All right, let's see if we can get this in here. So like your leaf springs, I like to spray them. The brakes, you can spray all your brakes with all this stuff, super easy. All electrical connections, spray them. Spare tire right here, I'll give that a little squirt. Super easy. But now, if you climb way underneath here, I don't know if you guys can see that little bump stop right there. Let me see if it'll focus. Oh, bear with me, Jesus, it's crazy. But yeah, pretty much right, right there, okay? I wanna spray that whole frame right above that bump stop right there. Here's the frame. You can see some of like your uh, brake lines and trailer tow package lines coming underneath there. You want to really make sure you spray that really good. Okay, oh, I got some overspray on there, but that's why I put that little piece of paper just to cover up some of that overspray. But anyway, you know, it's it's just for safety's sake. Same thing, make sure you got your spare tire. All right, let's move on here. We'll go to the next part. Okay, moving on, door jams right here. So you want to make sure that you get your hinges and I'm going to spray them. You can use WD-40. I use G96 gun treatment because I'm cool. So you'll just give her a little squirt right there on the hinges. Same thing on the front here. If you'll see right there. I don't know if you can get really close into that, that hinge right there. But squirt it and squirt that one too. And then, like I said, this is the stuff I'm using. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, G96 gun treatment. Works fine. All right, we'll go underneath the hood. All right, so we just did our door hinges. Now we're gonna pop the hood here, like so, right underneath the steering wheel on this here truck. And there's also a little bit of a latch on the hood right here. So I'm gonna spray that as well. Just, just a good idea, a little bit of rust prevent right there. Set this down. Since I'm in here, another good thing to check for your kind of pre-winter service is your air filter. So mine here just pops these little tabs and then it's held in the back in the back with just little hooks. So I kind of pull up and pull back and I can just rotate it up. Be careful with your old mass airflow sensor. And then I'm gonna check this air filter here. And you can kind of see the condition of that air filter. Pretty clean. Like I said, this truck's only got 250 miles on it so it should be nice. And then you also want to check down in there for any bugs. You'll get wasp and shit that kind of lay in the bottom of your air box. So 
So really make sure you do that. And you probably only need to do it this week because I bet all them bugs go away after this week. So something to think about. And then yeah, you just reassemble in reverse order. You can see the little hooks in there. So I go into my hooks, give her a little push, back up with the tab, back down with the tab. Life is good. The antifreeze, people check that. You don't need to check that at all. So antifreeze is in the name. It's anti-freezing. So you don't you don't need to ever check your antifreeze before winter. Just the air box, right? The more you know. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so moving on. Um, some other things I like to check pre-winter is obviously your heating system in general. So everybody knows propane's through the roof. You want to make sure your step is as efficient as possible. So here I have all my in-floor heating system, and this is my on-demand water heater. And I want to check to make sure everything is correct and there's nothing weird, no bugs crawling in there before it starts coming up. Um, and then also you can look up by the serial number, like what parts you'll need. So it doesn't really say on the outside, but I'll show you. On the top, there's two clips, right? Just like little snap buckles. And then on the bottom, there's also two. So you kind of press in on this because it's going to want to come at you. So I'm just holding it there and it's going to pop straight off, sort of, give her a little jiggle wiggle. Now that's going to pop off and you'll see here, you just set that off to the side. But right in here, if you zoom in, here's your capacities of what I have. So it's a model, you know, serial number 41358, made from Tung Gong Gong, everyone, one company. And that's what I'm going to Google right there when I need parts. That's pretty much the best, that's the best way to check these. And then... In reverse order you know make sure the writing is up i'm going to come straight back on and i want to line up my buckles but make sure that there's no wires or anything sticking out you'll hear it kind of pop in and then i just go after that top buckle first snap them back down come after the bottom ones boom we're in business maintained all right maintained all right moving on all right so a lot of you guys are like, oh man, well of course maintenance is easy on a brand new vehicle. Well here you go, there's some different maintenance I like to do on my older kind of clapped out rides. So this is a Ford Ranger, immediately you know it's going to be clapped out. So it's got 187,000, 1.5 million miles on it. What I like to do is in the old fuel system, I like to run this gum out high mileage fuel injector cleaner. Right? Now I'm not even sure if this is fuel injected or carbureted, but this does them both, which is nice. And the reason that I use this gum out, which I already just put in this morning when I filled up with gasoline, uh, is I like to use it because it's the cheapest there is. So you can get some pretty high dollar stuff that works really well. I like to use this because it's very affordable and it actually probably doesn't do anything, but it does make me feel really good. And it's got some cool pictures of like my, my car farting and then not farting as much, which is pretty clever. Um, so anyway, on the Ford Ranger, most of you guys probably don't have gas doors left on there. Mine actually does because I'm here as far as the Ranger community goes. So you're just going to open up your door here and you see your gas cap. You just pop that off. Same thing. If you don't have a gas cap, that's normal. You're just going to unscrew this and then you just jam it right in there like that real fast. If you spill some on the side, that's okay. So hopefully you can see right there how that's working. That same thing. I'm only able to do this this week all right after this week then i'm not going to be able to use any of this fuel injector cleaner no more so just for this week all right well i mean we'll go over some other stuff but that's about the most part of it tires i don't really worry about tires for the winter uh, oil changes i hear a lot of people doing that nope none of that the only thing i'll do is every once in a while i'll pour a little bit of water on the door seals to keep them lubricated in the winter that's really all you got to do or all right, well that is all. Hopefully you guys have learned something today. Carry on.